there, mates. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey there, kids. I'm so happy you're here because that means one thing. We're going on one last trip. That's right. We are using the VR Wonderful for one last sight. We've seen the Northern Lights. We have scoured Mount Everest. We have explored the Grand Canyon, but today we're going to one place that I never even knew existed. We're going down and down. A place called the Great Barrier Reef. I heard it's underwater, so I brought my snorkel, y'all. Y'all ready to get started? Ha! <laughs> Me too. Let's go. <laughs> Holy moly, this is probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen. I mean, how cool is it that guy created all of this? Every fish, every plant, every drop of water, every grain of sand. Wow. Wow what? Jada, hey, how are you? I'm great. Super excited to hear about what you thought of the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, it was, uh, wait, how'd you know where I went? Oh, sorry, I figured it was obvious. Obvious? Obvious how? I mean, we've been talking about the world's most wonderful and natural wonders. The Great Barrier Reef stands out as one of the best. Oh, you're also wearing a snorkel and goggles. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it was super cool. I actually think I'm going to visit there. Wait, what if I move there? Then I could snorkel in the reef all day long. Well, you can't. What are you talking about? Why now? Well, first off, you can't move to Australia. Your may mom needs you here. I mean, who else would take out the trash and give y'all's pet alligator a bath? That is true. Gertrude does need her baths. Exactly. And also, even if you did, you can't snorkel in the reef all day. That's impossible. Well, nothing is impossible, right? I mean, snorkeling ain't that hard. No, but you got work, gotta eat. You wouldn't be able to go hang out with friends. Snorkeling isn't like worship. Well, what do you mean by that? I just mean worship is something we can do all day, everywhere we go. You really think we can worship God all day long? Don't get me wrong. I love spending time with God, but that's a long time to go to church. I mean, all day, every day? Well, that's the thing, remember? Worship doesn't have to happen within a church. It can happen anywhere. Wherever you're living, whatever we are doing, we can worship God. And the really cool part is that people will notice too. What? How? Well, look at Psalm 112. It says this, Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear in the end. They will look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. Was I talking about people who follow God? It sure was. I mean, someone can tell by just the way I live that I follow God? That's what the Bible says. How is that possible? Well, think about it. You know how I was able to guess you had seen the Great Barrier Reef? Yeah. Well, I was able to do that because of the snorkel and goggles you were wearing. So it's kind of like our lives. If we love and follow God, our lives will show that through the way we talk, the way we act, and the way we treat other people. I guess I never thought about it like that. But helping others, using respectful words, being kind, how is that worship? Well, it's not worship if we're just doing these things because we feel like we have to. Right, but I'm sorry. Don't we worship because God wants us to worship? Of course God wants us to worship, but not because God needs to know what we think of God. But when we worship God, we are letting God know that we truly do love God and are thankful to God. But it's not enough to just sing songs and talk to God. God knows that we mean the things we say to God when we follow it up with the things we do. So to tell God thank you for forgiving all of our sins, everything bad we've ever done or will ever do, for sending us Jesus and always being with us, I can... Live for God. It's got to be done by how we live our life. Wow! I mean, that's like a lot of responsibility. It's a big job, but God knows we can do it. Yeah, maybe you're right. So what do I do? Well, the best thing is to stay connected. Like, charge my phone? 
<laughs> no. Stay connected to God. We can do that by reading the Bible and memorizing scripture. We can do it by praying and talking to God and even talking with people who know more about God than we do. Wow. And by worshiping God by how we live, we can not only help ourselves by growing into a stronger, faithful follower, we can help others realize how much God loves them. You got it. God's plan for us is exactly that. Even Jesus tells us in John 13, 35, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Wow, how exciting. Plus, you know I memorized a little scripture myself. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Well, hello there. It's time for our great big idea, which is we can worship by living for God. So let's shout it out loud on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. We can worship by living for God. Right job! Okay, I'm gonna stop with the accent. But seriously, I have had an absolute blast learning with you kids about some of Earth's most natural wonders. But it looks like I gotta get out of here, so I'm gonna hop on a kangaroo and I'll see you next time, alright? Bye! <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Can you?
So no, I confess, today I am blessed Mañana también Me siento muy bien The good vibes fell once again and again Today I am blessed Mañana también Me siento muy bien The good vibes fell once again and again So many wonders I am a treasure you made The plans that you paved Stand and look on me 